Today then we're going to jump in and have a look at the new challenge tiers that are available in Strike Force. That's challenge tier 11 and 12. I believe they are exceptionally difficult. So this video isn't me going in with any kind of strategy. It's just seeing how I get on with the roster I've got, which is a fairly decent roster, which I'll very quickly show you. So you can see at the moment I'm sitting at 5.2 million, which really is pretty decent. I know the wheels and so on are up at around about 10 million, but 5.2 million I think is pretty respectable as well. So we're going to start off with the gold challenge here. Now I'll just say quickly in regards to this challenge, you can only use city characters, so it's most likely defenders. Someone actually done the math and to max out your characters to the gear tier it says is required to complete it, the amount of gold it would cost to do that. And then the difference in the extra gold for you completing the two tiers, it would take you something like two years to actually get the gold back, I believe. So this is one that it's not worth levelling up your character specifically to beat this tier. So do just bear that in mind. You want to just beat it, hopefully, naturally, as time does go on. But this will be tier 11. Let's go in and let's get absolutely smashed here. So I'll actually quickly show off the team we're using here, 332,000 power on it's just the defenders and I've chosen to drop in Punisher as well there. Okay so here we go, starting off let's just go for this one here, that'll break the chain on Daredevil so that's pretty important. You have the extra assist coming from Miss Marvel so we'll try and take her out actually take my time to an extent. I'm so used to the raids with a five minute timer when I'm recording them and I need to go through it exceptionally quick but I don't have to do that as much here. Okay, taking a fair bit of damage on Iron Fist here. Hopefully get a heal coming soon from him. I'm going to save the ultimate on Punisher just in the next turn. There we go, now let's see. Go for the defence up. And we'll just use the basic here. Right, let's see, okay. Right, so we definitely need a heal. If you want to take out characters, wow, this is going to be crazy, all those Mysterios with all the heal block actually. And they're probably going to hit like a truck. And I'm going to get absolutely smashed in a moment here. Let's just go for the basic for now. So it looks like it was worthwhile saving the ultimate on Punisher as long as he stays up long enough to fire it off. Yeah, this should do a decent amount of damage because it's villains. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll go... Let's see, I've got the full chain here. So let's actually start. If we do it in these two, it's not going to go the full way. So we'll start it here. Yeah, let's do this for now. 11 enemies remaining anyway. And... I do want to take out Rhino soon, but I quite want to work down other characters as well, to be honest. It's all about when the next wave really drops in. Punisher seems great for this stage anyway by the looks of it. I think Rhino when he charges it's really going to mess me up but what can we do? Let's see this is a... isn't a summon Mysterio so I'll take him out because he will be hitting hard. This should be pretty awesome when we fire this off. I'm going to slow it down. Here we go. <laughs> awesome stuff. That was nice. Back up to times three again here. And we don't need a heal at the moment. Let's pull down. That one's a summon, isn't it? I'm not even sure. Let's go for Vulture next. Rhino's really not doing much, although... By saying that, I probably just jinxed it and he's going to absolutely destroy me in a moment. Let's leave up the summons and concentrate on Rhino. There's five enemies left to come in. I wonder if it's going to be this final wave that's going to be ridiculously difficult. I'm just waiting for it to come in with full speed bars and so on and absolutely destroy me. Because I know I'm jinxing it, but I'm going to say it. It's going alright so far. Let's see. So... Just use the basic for now until we see what's coming in in this next wave, because I might need these. Right, okay. We'll concentrate on Miss Marvel. I'm not going to do this one, actually. Oh, again, I've got to stop saying that. I'm going to jinx it. <laughs> Just the uh, basic again here. Let's go for the counter-attack. The devil's getting low. 
I'm going to lose him. That's so close. Right, we really need that cleanse coming up. Nice. Ah, but it's a nice dodge there. Oh, come on. I had a suspicion this would possibly happen on like, the last wave. It would just get really silly. And it kind of did there for a little second. The way all those attacks were going off. And Miles, I don't need to worry about too much. He's already cast his ultimate, so just Daredevil will work on. It's going to be really close, this one. Let's just take out Daredevil. I know I've got the ultimate, but I would rather get rid of him because he's so low. And then probably Spidey next. I don't need the, the cleanse on the enemy at all, so that's the reason I used it there. Spidey would dodge. The one character that can't dodge, well, these two can't dodge actually. So let's go for this on America Chavez. I'm not going to say any more because I know we're getting close here. No, I think now actually, yeah. We're fine from this point, surely, aren't we? I'm not going to jinx it here. I meant to click on Spidey there. Well, there we go. We've done tier 11, so that's good. But it's this final tier. I'll actually show off tier 12. Didn't think I would manage to get to it, but... Unless Miles goes really crazy here. And there we go, awesome stuff. We were above the requirements for it anyway, so let's check out the next one. I believe this is possibly you need the full gear tier 14 and maybe even four red stars as well, as much as content wasn't supposed to be balanced around it. And then finally level 75 as well. So actually, tier 12 of the gold one's gonna have to wait, because in preparation for this video, I actually done my, my first two automatic rotations and I left just one for the video. So I'll do another video as soon as the gold comes back round again with tier 12 and we'll see how we got on. But this is training day. So let me have a look. I'm not even looked at this one at all yet. There's your requirements and it's only cosmic characters. I think I've got some quite strong cosmic ones, so let's check them out. So I've actually got quite a lot of strong cosmic characters here, so there's a few different team combinations I could use, but this one here, I actually sometimes run it in Ultimate 7, because you have Thanos that can provide energy to Invisible Woman, and it means she has a barrier up all the time, and I reckon I might need the survivability. So let's try that. Let's see who we've got here. We've got a fair amount of Supernatural, they're going to have a lot of survivability with Drax, the barrier from Invisible Woman, and also Scarlet Witch as well. Rockets took an absolute ton of damage. It may be a case if you need to use Drax with this set, this setup, or this node even. Rocket's almost down already. Let's get our own barrier up here. Go for the heal as well, so it'll bypass the heal block. It's not as large a heal as you're used to, because normally albums use Minerva and Dark Dimension when you get huge heals and everyone fills up. Not sure if also do too well here. This is just going to eat up the barrier. Yeah, it's not going to do much else. I'm not getting the kills quick enough to really make the most of the energy on Thanos, I don't believe. So, probably want to drop someone else in place of him. Maybe Drax might be worthwhile, just for that early, early taunt, potentially. Could have a use again. Okay, so we'll go for we'll go for Ghost Rider here. Yeah, the idea I had with Invisible Women and Thanos just isn't happening at all because we're not getting the, the kills quick enough. I will in a later video if I can figure out the correct teams to use and I'll definitely go in and do that. But for the purpose of tonight, it's just really looking at these for the first time, getting my team, getting an idea how they are. We managed to do the gold one though, so happy with that. Well, I didn't free star it. Just realised that you really need to free star these if you want to auto them, and you certainly do because you don't want to be spending a whole lot of time going through these every day on top of your, your dual raids and your war and your blitz and everything else as well. Let's just go for this. Just the reason being, it seems it would be overkill to use it on. 
Ghost Rider there because he was so low as it was. So there's 10 many enemies remaining now. Not the ones left. Human Torch could be really tricky actually. We've lost Rocket again. Yeah, Thanos isn't any good here. Just can't take down the characters quick enough to, to make the most of his energy. Let's go for the blind here. Yeah, we managed to land it, so that's good. It'll be fun to go back into this one and try and figure out a team setup that will work. It's been a while since I've had to do anything like that. So, Mordo next anyway. See how far we can get on it. So, Mr. Fantastic drops in. Maybe you want to take out your other supernatural characters, drop in as well. So it's basically a combination of Supernatural and Fantastic Four. Whoever you don't take in, they're going to be buffed with another squad. And say you leave Drax, he's definitely not doing anything but the other characters. It's tricky. Who do you want to go up against? Fantastic Four or Supernatural? Two really tricky teams. Defence up on all of them at the moment. It's going for Elsa. You didn't get absolutely demolished here, considering how bad uh, the team composition was that I actually used. This could be doable. Just need to figure out the right team, really. We've got eight remaining, and at the moment we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So another two to drop in, whoever they would be. about down here and then we'll, we'll check out the next trial anyway. So this one anyway, as mentioned I will go back to it and we'll try a different team setup and once I've got it cracked I'll let you know and I'll upload a video for it but let's check out the next challenge. The next one we have is the ability enhancements challenge. Now you don't actually get any blues, although saying that I have 50,000 of them so yeah maybe that's not an issue once you get to the point where you can take on tier 11. It looks like you really won't need blues, although with how quickly they're releasing characters, who knows, but yeah, 50,000 is a lot. So you're getting an extra 3 of your tier 3, I've got 16,000 of them, and then you're getting an extra 1, another extra whopping 1 of them, so that's what, 3 a week, something like that, of the orange materials. Team-wise, controllers and protectors, let's see who we can use. So this is a really strange team I've got here, but it's uh, the strongest ones that I have really. So Jessica Jones is there just for energy. You've then got Magneto and Juggernaut, who are a fantastic combination, because of course they make Juggernito at the end of the day. We've got Invisible Woman, and then we've got Star Lord providing some energy as well. So that's the team. Here we go. Now, I will mention actually, just before I jump in, I was about to click ready there. Before I do, I'm not putting in Phoenix because when she gets defeated, it will actually take a star off as much as she could probably make it really easy. We want to try and free star this. Right, okay, so Scientist Supreme, Graviton as well. What's going to happen if I do this blind with Scientist Supreme? Could you flip it? If you do the blind actually with Rhino, oh, that's horrible. That's obviously done on purpose there. You can't use, they allow you to use Magneto, but if you use the blind, it's not going to work. So we'll go for this on Drax. Next up, do you want any kind of blinds or anything? Let's try and actually take out Scientist Supreme. And then we've got our barrier going up here. I'll go for the cleanse, although saying that, I can't really use a blind on Magneto until I get rid of Rhino. So it's not a massive problem, the fact that he is stunned. So let's actually just try and take out Scientist Supreme. So there's another five enemies to drop in anyway, after this first wave here. Let's go for our taunt. Probably should have placed maybe Jessica Jones with Star-Lord as next to Juggernaut for when we get Rhino's charge because you have a ton of health on Jessica Jones. She's up at like 81,000 or something like that for me. Let's see. It may have actually been worthwhile focusing on Rhino. Now this works out really nice. You've got the disrupted turn number one and then turn number two. You've got this complete cleanse there with that setup. I'm not going to use the ultimate on Juggernaut just yet because he's going to hopefully stay up for a little bit longer, charge him even higher, get an extra 80% and 
and then from there we can pull everyone together first with Magneto. Maybe try and save it for turn number two. I'm actually really quite enjoying this. It has been so long since there's been any kind of content that you have to start to actually try and use some tactics and try and figure it out. Although I do believe when it gets to the tier 12 it is just a case of you kind of need to brute force it with how high the power levels are. But here we go. Rhino's down, so we could pull everyone together, but looking at the enemies that are remaining, they're not massively dangerous. So I'm actually going to... Oh, there we go. Had the jinx it there. <laughs> something funky goes on with Falcon, does it? No. I remember hearing something about his turn meters really strange in one of these stages. Again, we're not going to pull everyone... We're not going to use the ultimate just yet. I'm going to wait and pull everyone together first. Try and see if we can take out Falcon before he increases the turn meter. Do we need ability energy? I don't think we actually do. We'll save it for the cleanse. Now the ultimate on War Machine, I believe it still hits even if he's blinded. So we want to take him out. This team's working really, really nice. They really are. Awesome team. I have the option of energy here, but... I suppose if I use it, I could get the barrier quicker, potentially, on oh, Invisible Woman. Free energy went to her. Fantastic. Let's go for... Blind will hit on three characters. Let's go here. Take out Graviton Doctor Strange there. Hopefully we can pull everyone together soon. Again, I'm holding on to this ultimate. I know it's not charging damage wise any higher than that first turn when you use the basic. I want to pull everyone together with the blind first. Maybe you want to save your cleanse on Jessica actually until Doctor Strange comes in and potentially flips all your buffs. That's something to bear in mind, I would say. Let's get off Drax. Come on, man. Magneto getting his turn with that ultimate. Hopefully in a moment. Did we actually use it? We maybe did. It's getting pretty late here, to be honest. It's been a busy day. So let's just go for this. You've got five remaining. One more is going to drop in. I'll leave Drax up for now. There we go with that barrier. It's pretty awesome if you can feed the energy to it. It really is. I suppose we're trying to do this without losing anyone as well. Then we get that three star rating. Deadpool is going to give me a whole lot of trouble because he could ignore the taunt and take out Star Lord. So, full cleanse on Juggernaut, revive, and it had to be Scientist Supreme. And she'll probably start reviving characters. Right, it's going for it. Okay, that was effective. More energy again. Ah, oh, Star Lord, come on. Reckon I'm going to lose him. It's going to be so close, this one. Who's going to be this final character that drops in? Someone with an AoE ultimate charge, turn number one. Something along the lines like that, probably. Oh no, wait a minute. I obviously can't count. There we go. Boom, done. I did say it was a long day. So, three star. Awesome stuff. That team was really fun. Let me know what you think of that team set up there. So, let's check out the next one. So with this one here, unless I'm wrong, did it only get up to tier 9 before? I think it must have, because I'm only up to tier 10 here on 3 stars. So we'll go in and we'll do, if needs be, we'll do tier 10 and 11. But tier 10 says it requires level 70, gear tier 12, and 4 red stars, brawlers, and support. So let's try this one. Team-wise, I'm going to play this one save. We've got Minerva there for the, the res. We've got Groot for the death proof. And then we've got Miss Marvel with some Hero Brawler characters as well for all the assists. Okay, so Mystique can be another pain in the arse, so... What do we do? She obviously got the evade there, which is going to waste a turn, so... Can take out a character here first, or do I want to generate more energy? Let's actually try and take out Daredevil. We've got 100,000, that'll do the job. And then Mystique next. Yeah, I would like to get rid of her. 
Well, she's probably not as dangerous when she doesn't have Sinister and Magneto, but she's stealthed up, of course. Let's go for Spidey next. Don't need any kind of heal or anything. Could do with a cleanse, but I would much rather get the, the death proof up. And defence up negates and defence down the two characters I've got. Okay, is another wave dropping in yet? No, nope, not yet. Look, Cage, all he's going to do is taunt up next turn, so there's no point in actually stunning him. Yes, it'll slow me down, but I'm not up against the clock or anything like that, so save that stun for this happening. <laughs> there we go. So, Sabretooth can hit really pretty hard. Try and take him out. Can do with a heal now. And then we want to save the special for when Luke Cage taunts up, so just the basic there. Again, there's no point in stunning Luke Cage at all. It's the pity we're stuck on him there when we had that stun. Don't really need a cleanse or a heal or anything. Groot hits pretty hard, so we'll go for that. Again, not need a heal on this Marvel. Don't need a res at all. There we go, let's cleanse. That's great. Otherwise he was going to do a whole lot of healing and be all the way back up again. So we can actually stun Sunday in this instance. Let's stun Iron Fist. He's about to have his turn and he could heal Luke Cage, so we'll go for that. And then Jessica could remove... Let's see. She's not doing that just yet. Okay, let's go for Wolverine. We could have an ultimate coming up soon. Miss Marvel's around about 83,000 or something. I've really been focusing in on her recently, so she hits really hard. Now, Juggernaut I would like to take out as soon as possible. Pyro can be a right pain, though. What have we got there? We've got Storm. I'm going to go for Pyro. Because otherwise he'll do the cleanse on everyone. He doesn't have Magneto to pull everyone together, but can still be dangerous. So, heal from Groot's not really going to do enough at all. So, let's just try and take out Pyro. We got close to it there. Spidey may go down, but I can fingers crossed res him. Yeah, Spidey's going down big time. There we go, flying towards the screen. Let's bring him straight back. Take out a character here, so we'll try and take out Black Panther because he's got a fence up. 147,000. Very nice. So I know we've got Juggernaut, I don't think I can really do anything about him. I would rather just try and take out other characters before he taunts up. It we went quick enough there. Here we from Captain Marvel should take out... No, it didn't do it. I was hoping that would take out Mystique there. Get our death proof here. Again, this is only tier number 10, and I have got an 83,000 Captain Marvel, so that does, without a doubt, help. Juggernaut charging. That wasn't too bad at all. Get rid of Storm. Look at all the charges she's got. Yeah, there we go. So that's done. Once again, I only had one turn left, so I can't show off tier 11 in this video. But when I get the chance, as mentioned, I'll look to show off the tier 12 on the other nodes and tier 11 on this one. Let's have a look at this one here. So, global for this one. Level 71, gear tier 13, 4 red stars. I hate the way things are locked behind red stars at the moment, although, fingers crossed, a potential rework will make that a bit less painful. It's up to 450 there in regards to the number of red orb fragments that you get, or red star orb fragments even. But here we go. So this is the team I'm going to use here. We've got the core Brotherhood, we've got Ultron, so I'm wondering if we'll go up against a Black Bolt who will smash him. We can't use Phoenix at all due to the res, once again, meaning we don't get three stars. So I've placed, you've got Nick Fury in there. Oh wow. This is going to be hard. Marauders. Sinister. Oh, Jesus. Captain Marvel. If we blind her, it's not going to make any difference. 
I think we're about to get absolutely pumped, as we would say here. Okay, that was good. It went off on Sabretooth because he gets his passive regen every turn. Sinister's going to clone Ultron, isn't he? Let's see, I'm pretty sure he will. No, actually, he'll be stuck on Juggernaut, won't he? Yeah, stuck on Juggernaut. This should only tickle when he, he hits me, so I don't need to worry about that. So that's good. That works out nice, at least. We're going to have a whole lot of buffs coming here. Via your Nick Fury and the combination of Ultron as well. So next up, I want to get rid of Sinister when I can. Because he's spreading all the, the buffs as well. Stuck on our own mini juggernaut for now. 12 enemies remaining. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for the charge here. That'll do the job. Another sinister Deadpool. Okay, this other sinister could clone the likes of Ultron now. So we'll try and take him out before he has a chance to potentially do that. Okay, Miss Marvel next once I get the chance because she's on the lower side. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good here. Definitely need your Colossus to stop Sinister from cloning the likes of Ultron. I think that's helped an absolute ton. And then the remaining characters, let's just go for Sabretooth next. I reckon we should be okay though. Another one we've managed to free star. It's a pretty hefty team we have though. I do appreciate not everyone's going to have Ultron, but this is supposed to be in game content. So there we go, that's done. I think with the increase you get, it's probably like an extra 1 4 red star token per year or something like that. So woohoo! Can we spend that? But let's check out the final challenge. Final one here is Catalyst of Change. This is only up to tier 9, so it must be they are different tiers. I've never really noticed that before. Blasters can be a bit squishy, so this could be tricky. So this is the team I'm going to use here. Bit of a mishmash. Ultron's pretty awesome. Falcon is there for the turn meter. My Punisher's pretty high. He's about 70,000. Black Bolt was a beast. And Killmonger is a bit of a beast as well. And he's also got some sustain. Let's see who we have here. Got Brotherhood to start off with. That blind's going to be a pain on my characters. What in the name of sweet baby Jesus just happened there? Bloody hell. Okay, I'm going to restart. This may be the kind of node that, due to Mystique, what the hell, due to Mystique, you may have to restart and hopefully it works out a way that particular characters don't take out others. Let's try this once again. My god, that was awful. Here we go once again. If someone gets taken out straight away, I'm not going to keep going in until we get lucky enough. Yeah, same thing happened again there. Well, that's a massive amount of bullshit. It really is. Unbelievable. I'll keep trying later on, but it's getting late here and I can't really be bothered with restarting nodes over and over to see if someone gets one-shotted at the start here. Because I can't freestar it, so there's no part really. There's no point really going on any further. So overall that wasn't too decent. Unfortunately I finished off with a pretty rubbish one. This one doesn't seem really that fair. I don't think there's any way you can really count on this at the start. You've got no Drax or anything you can drop in to ensure the, the attack goes a certain way. So yeah, I don't know if this one's just down to RNG, but they were decent enough. When I get the chance, I'll look to do the tier 12 ones, and if you're looking forward to that, you can see me get absolutely hammered on them. Imagining something that would be really difficult, and I just scrape through some of these. 
to be honest. But that's the new challenges with the, the 5 million TCP roster. So keep an eye on the channel and I'll get the tier 12 challenges up soon enough. And thanks for tuning in.